All right, welcome back to another Ergo Node. Or, well, this is going to be the first episode of the Ergo, Tech, Ergo Technical Series. Oh my god, I cannot talk today. That's my fault. Um, but let's get into it, shall we? Um, so today we're going to be learning how to set up and configure a full Ergo Node. There are videos on this. I will leave a link to one of the videos that I think is more technical and more thorough. But for this purpose, I'm going to try to make this as user-friendly as visibly possible. So first, let's explain why you would even start an Ergo node, right? Why would I want one? Um, so for instance, uh, if you have a Nautilus wallet and you send uh, Erg on there frequently and you get NFTs there frequently, having an Ergo node will allow you to sync to the blockchain faster than your actual wallet will because you are actually um, getting all those different um, transactions from other peers on the actual network, syncing your own node with other people's nodes and other people's nodes syncing on your node. Um, as far as security risk goes, there's virtually none. I mean, as long as you, it's the same thing as a wallet passphrase. So that would be your only security risk is knowing what your 12 word mnemonic code is. Um, but besides that, there's nothing else that would actually impair on your ability to uh, use this, right? So, it requires Java. You guys can download Java here. Um, and just so we can look at it, you're going to click uh, this package. On Windows, you'll pick this one right here. On Mac, you'll pick this one right here. Hit Java on all those different devices and do this thing right. So, going back now to how to set up the node. You're also going to download this Ergo Client Release jar file. So we're going to go here and, you know, see what you got to download here. You're just going to grab this one right here. So you're going to click download on that and it'll pop itself in right over here, right? So we'll wait for that to download. And voila, you have it now. So now that we have that, we're going to go back. Oh, too far back. Right back to where we were. Um, and you can use this uh, assembly if you want, but I prefer to do it like this. So you can simply uh, create a Ergo folder. So you'll just create a folder and you'll name it Ergo. Oh, there's already one that I have because <laughs> I already did this already. It looks something like this. So you're also going to end up creating a config file. So if your setup doesn't look like this right here, then you don't have it set up at the end properly. Just remember that. Uh, this right here though, we're gonna end up creating a config file. So let's do that. We're gonna create text doc. We're gonna say ergo.conf. There you go. Now we're gonna go back here and we're gonna paste this code right here. Copy into our folder this ergo comp folder right here. We're going to double click on it. We're going to command V on there and it should look like this. We're going to file and we're going to save. We're going to close that. We're going to, you're going to go to your downloads, grab this guy right here. Move him to your desktop. There you go. It's right here. Put them in here, run that. There you go, you have a bunch of different files forming now. This will be your ergo file. Don't worry about that stuff in there. You have your ergo comp file, and you can see that our files are starting to look the exact same now. We've got an ergo file, an ergo comp file, and yeah, okay. So moving forward. Next thing you want to grab is, in my opinion, this is the easiest way to do it, is the VS Studio. So if you're just going to download VS, and you'll get a pop-up that looks something like this, except it'll look more like, um, it'll look more like this when you get started. You're going to say file, you're going to say open folder, go to desktop, go to your ergo file, Select that folder. 
you're going to see all your different files in here. And this is what I was saying right here. So see how it says .txt at the end? We can rename that, get rid of that, change it to there, and now it's a comp file. That's why I like using VS more. Just a little bit more transparency over your files, but um, yeah. So now that you have that set up, we can end up going into the next step. And we can grab this thing right here. We're simply going to simply simply going to do this number there. Now we're going to look back at our ergo comp file and we're going to All right. So, now we're going to look back at our ergo comp file and we're going to run this code right here. So, we're going to command this code command C. There we go. And as you can tell, it's starting to start up now. You could get all this different stuff on your screen. You might get some prompts asking you to uh, go to your network. But otherwise, as you can see here, we are grabbing notes. Well, we're going off our peers. It'll say expired uh, until it connects to a peers database. Don't worry about that. We're going to end up going to here to Swagger. And using Swagger, we're going to say that we're going to try it out. And we're going to put in here instead of this we're just gonna put in hello we're gonna execute that we're gonna take our response body so we're gonna copy this command C put it right in here in our response once we get that so now we're gonna go back from the swagger And we're going to update the config file with the rest of what we want. So we're going to use that little thing. Once again, we're going to use the comments. We're going to command V that right there. That's going to be our hash. Make sure to have these uh, hash these hashtags right here because otherwise it won't be input as a comment. We're now going to grab this. We're going to command C. Command V. Right here now we have our score X we're gonna make sure that this key matches that key but for our sake we can copy this and then delete that make sure it's pasted properly now we can file save again now we're gonna start initializing the wallet so we're gonna to go to our wallet panel and right here you can see that we're syncing the headers and we need to set our API key so we're gonna set our API key to hello there we go, API key is set. We're gonna initialize our wallet. We're gonna give it a new password. We're gonna call it, for this sake, YouTube1234. You can click right here to look at your password. And you can enter your mnemonic right here if you wanna restore a wallet. Now we're gonna send that. Boom, you're gonna get your wallet mnemonic right here. I guess if anybody, I mean, don't use this wallet, this is just a test. Um, but you're gonna get that, and we're going to close now. All right, now we have our wallet right here. We've got our wallet, It's on. we need to unlock it, so we're gonna click unlock. We're gonna type in our password. YouTube one two three four. There we go. We have our password. Here's what it looks like. We can use our addresses and look at them. Um, and now you can see we have peers connected too, right? So we're gonna go from here. We're going to duplicate this tab. And oh, we just went all the way. All right, going back. Now that you have all that, you can get your wallet addresses. You can use the swagger. Click the wallet tab and get all wallet addresses. Uh, I'm not sure if that one's correct. It'll return at least one address. And then you can always use swagger again. So once swagger is set up, you can end up using this and you can end up authorizing it 
with your key value and it's authorized now. This is where you can do a bunch of different stuff with the Ergo Node API. And yeah, I don't use this much. The only thing that a basic user will be using is this. And as always, you'll set your API key every single time to hello. And you'll lock your wallet or unlock it or whatever you want to do. Or just, yeah. As you can see, it's syncing headers right here with the network. And that's all. That's all you have to do, right? So this has been another amazing video on the uh, ergo technical end as you can tell it's going to sync up all the way in fact we can if you want to stop this you simply tap scroll down and then hit control c that will stop it to start it back up again you're just going to grab this command c command v there you go your ergo notice started back up just like that it's very simple and I like using VS more than Terminal because I feel like that is a little bit simpler for people to understand. Um, I know that a lot of people aren't familiar with Terminal and I myself had a little bit of a hiccup going through it, but I feel like this is the best way to do it and you can just minimize that tab and VS will be your Terminal. For most non-programmers, that won't really be an issue. If you are a programmer, you might be using VS for other things, so perhaps you'll be able to use the Terminal for what I want to show you or do. Um, if you are going to use a terminal, you'd have to just navigate to your file and your folder and do that. Uh, and all that can be found in the uh, how to set up and configure an ergo node, right? So now that we have that done, um, yeah, that's that's how you set up an ergo node, right? Uh, if you guys have any questions or any comments, leave them in the comments section. I'll also be linking in the uh, videos that I that helped me set up an ergo node as well as this page specifically. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.